Hello friends, welcome back to Sales Study Pro Tricks and Tricks. In today's video, I'll show you one more trick for designing your profile. Well, in last uh, video, we have shown the various options of uh, representing your ground level on the edge of your role in your profile view. Uh, like I did over here, and then we've seen that how we can quickly generate the profile options with the help of copy and uh, raising and lowering command. Uh, in today's video, I'll show you how to design your proposed profile of your age line uh, of the road. Well, still that you have off, uh, option of offset alignment, uh, very long, but right now in 18 and 19 version, it uh, gives you the new option that you can dynamically create your profile uh, along with your offset alignment. So if I go here, uh, select my offset alignment and give my offset a board width 3.5 and 3.5 and then I here it is an option here to create offset profile and here the important thing it is asking you what is your road camber or what is your cross form so I'll give it to value of 2.5 percent. So it will calculate uh, the level on the edge with my center line profile with the 2.5% cross fall and I hit OK. So it has created my offset alignment or I can say road edge alignment and also the road edge profile by calculating 2.5% uh, from my center line. And you can see those profiles and you select your alignment and go to the surface profile and draw any profile view and you can see that profile is automatically created now I'll show you one more trick here it's called superimpose profile well what now if I wanted to see uh, this profile in my center line profile and to see how it looks uh, or how it changes. So what I'll do, uh, I'll go here the option profile and here is the option create superimposed profile. Uh, it's asking me to select the source profile and select the destination profile view. So I select my destination profile view. You can select start and end changes. I'll show my full profile. So I'll hit enter. And it is now showing in my center line profile. So in this way, you can show your proposed road edge label in your profile view uh, very quickly. Uh, so here you can see uh, this is my proposed profile and this is my road edge profile at the 2.5. Now the best part is that that is linked dynamically to each other. So if I wanted to design my uh, road uh, uh, with uh, my age level, so I can design it very quickly uh, with the help of my center line. So what I have to do, I have to change my center line and my road edge profile automatically change along with that. So in this way, with your center line, you can match your road edge level with your ground levels and you can uh, improve your cut and fill value on the one side with your center line level and you can see how the 2.5 percent cross fall is the 3 percent cross fall level box so this is also helpful when you have to have a constraint on left side or right side and you have to design your center line alignment so you can uh, some See this way how your road age proposed profile work, how your road age existing profile work, and you can design everything with your center line level. So, um, thank you. Hope uh, you like this video and subscribe our channel for the more videos like this.